so children now you all must be aware about the germination process let's move on to the next topic that is seed dispersal what is it a plant produces large number of fruits and seeds these fruits and seeds need to be carried away to far away places the process of carrying away the fruits and seeds to far away places is called dispersal of seeds why there is a need for the dispersal of seeds seeds when sown too close to each other or fall under the same parent plant they will grow in the con- crowded condition so they have to fight against each other for space food and will eventually die so they need to be scattered now what are the agents of seed dispersal they are animals self explosion water wind or air seed dispersal by water some seeds they float on the water because they have certain structures that help them to float on water like coconut fruit has a spongy fibrous outer coat that helps it to float on the water and get carried away to far off places whereas lotus have spongy light seed that enables them to float on water next is by wind some seeds they are light in weight they have wings or tufts of fine hair example cotton madder and dandelion seed dispersal by animals some seeds they have hooks or spines that get stuck to the bodies of the animals and they get carried away to other places like cockneber natura and tiger claw birds and animals they eat juicy fruits and throw away the undigested unchanged seeds through their digestive system examples jamun mango cherry etc next is seed dispersal by explosion the walls of the seeds they explode burst open suddenly because when the seeds they dry the walls of the fruits they cover and throw out the seeds because there is a strong force with which the fruit walls opens 